very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking as usual we are going to use that 20 pips a day trading uh, style and I am aware that this is one of the most uh, wanted styles on my channel and I wanted to tell you that I am right now on a sell trade on the gold uh, the reason is very simple that I have wait a minute that I have seen a resistance with an attempt number one on the uh, four hour chart also and then the one hour chart right now we are on the one hour chart so what I see here is a simple R1 resistance number one and I have placed my sell order right on resistance number two not to mention that I have placed my order at the absolute top of this resistance like that and we can see that the trade right now is going in almost 12 pips of profit actually it was going deeper than that actually it was going in almost 20 pips of profit yeah 21 pips now since I have placed my trade right on this resistance actually I was supposed to up to close my trade with the profit right when it's touched uh, when it has touched this previous support here and I can guarantee that 20 pips from this trade I was late because I was just thinking about making this video and just decided to open the recorder and we can see that the candle is reversing right now so I'm going to close this trade with the profit and we got approximately uh, between 12 to 14 pips of profit from this trade that's cool now however we want to open one trade together and let's see what opportunities do the market offers me now the thing I want to mention for you um, if you want to get the most benefit from the 20 pips a day strategy it is highly recommended for you to trade these pairs all all the pound pairs all of them the pound nzd the pound aud the pound canadian the pound swiss uh, pound chf the pound gpy the pound usd and also euro gbp all of them and also you can get the gold these actually one the most profitable pairs using the 20 pips a day strategy the reason is one very tiny small reversal on the four hour chart can means a lot of pips and that is what we are seeking from this strategy because as I said before many times we are making the profit from this strategy looking by these bounces only what I'm after is the bounces these candles making for example this bounce here for example uh, I'm on the pound NZD right now I'm on, on the four hour chart we can see that we having here the support number one and we can see this bouncing here the candle has bounced creating a support number two look at this small bounce here this candle here this whole candle representing almost 50 pips that's a lot of reversal right so I'm just seeking 20 pips only and we can see that just a small reversal like that from I mean from this support here until this distance here it can give me the profit that I'm seeking a small reversal is enough for me to get out with a good profit let's check for example compare it with the AUD and ZD for example if I want to enter 20 pips here let's see how many I mean that is a lot of uh, reversal I'm hoping for uh, I'm I'm looking for a lot of uh, volatility here in order to make any good profit from using this strategy however using the pound pairs we need right now to check all the pound pairs and find the good and decent setup now for example I am on a support level on the pound CAD JPP, JPP CAD right now we can see that I am on a support level and this very same support was also a support in the past and it was also of course a resistance therefore I will look now for the 30 minute time frame to find a good th uh, buy options now look at that reading the price action reading the candles this candle seeing this candle on the support indicating that the pair or this candle is gonna reverse and go up and I'm going to place the buy order right here because this price action as I said usually indicating that the candle is gonna go up and since I'm seeking just uh, 20 pips like that that is 20 pips and of course because I have placed my trade right on the support level I will exit my trade at the near nearest resistance which is of course this one right here now let's watch this candle together 
Now, of course, I'm not 100% sure that it's going to reverse. I must mention something, as I said before. These price action uh, shapes of the candles, these are indicators that hint, giving, giving, giving me a hint about the next direction of the candle. It's not an assurance. It's not, for, it's not a guarantee. It's not assurance. It's not like 100% sure. You will never, never, ever place your full lot on one trade depending on the price action. Price action sometimes can be fooling you. It can be deceiving. So we have to be sure right now I'm lucky because this price, ac price action is actually um, loyal to this setup. And I can see that the market is reversing. Hopefully we are going to get them all. Uh, let me just reduce my take profit level to be here. 16 pips, 16.8 pips. That should be really fine. Now, uh, again, uh, we are still in the creation of a support number one. That is the creation. Still, the support number one hasn't been performed fully. Um, what I'm expecting right now is the market is going to respect the support level here, which was also a resistance. It's going to go up here, hit this previous resistance, and maybe it's going to reverse and go down. Uh, we are having here a strong level of the resistance, so we cannot be sure what is going to happen. What I really care for is for this candle to reach this previous resistance, giving me the profit I'm seeking, and I will close the trade without giving a damn about what's going to happen next. Don't regret. Don't be greedy. Just follow the strategy rules, and trust me, you will be in profit, hopefully. So, uh, we can see that the pair is uh, reversing right now. Let me just try to find some other setup where I can actually buy or sell the pound. And so far, nothing yet. Good. We are in good profit so far. Uh, let me check the gold. The gold, again, I mean, I just entered one trade of the gold. I don't think I will enter another one. Uh, it's going to take some time to find the next decent setup. So maybe we can just look for another pair apart from the pound and the gold. But again, I want to highlight that the gold and the pound is the most, are the most prof uh, profitable pairs using the 20 pips a day strategy. Uh, that is some bad news here for my signal today about the EURUSD. I mentioned that the, the EURUSD should be good for the buy uh, on this level, if I'm not mistaken. However, we are still in the safe zone because uh, this is a support zone, as I said. And hopefully the pair is not going to exceed this level and is going to reverse go up. As, as I said before, the general direction for the EURUSD is to fall down. But I really don't think this is going to happen right now because of the price action we're having on the daily candle, indicating that we are looking for a reversal. Anyway, let's uh, check on the four-hour chart. Hopefully, I can find something. USDCHF. Ah, the USDCHF has hit the take profit level where I mentioned. Nice. That's very nice. Now, let's get used to it. <laughs> let's get the most of it. I'm going to sell immediately. Because that is very clear resistance number one. And right now we are on the creation of a resistance number two. And of course, I'm not going to keep this thread running for a long time. I will exit my trade at just the nearest resistance or support. And the nearest resistance is laying right here. That should be approximately 14 pips. 14 pips of profit. Um, my friends, as I said before, when we are using the 20 pips a day strategy, we cannot really force the market to give us 20 pips each trade we are entering. That's not possible. We always have to follow what the market is offering us. For example, if I want to get 20 pips from this trade, I can set my take profit level on this support here. But there's a high probability that the pair is actually going to reverse right from this previous resistance, breaking out from the resistance level right here and here and it's gonna continue going more up and by that i will lose this trade so to avoid that just accept what the setup is offering to you and just exit the trade at the right moment and in my opinion the right moment is gonna be at this previous resistance here don't take any risks don't get greedy that is how you can make profit using my strategy let's continue uh, i will just find right now the last uh, trade let's see what the NZD USD is offering to me here. Um, right now we can see that the pair on the four hour chart has broken out from this previous support level. And this is bearish breakout candle. 
Now, let's go to the 30 minute time frame and let's dig more and see where can we place our sell order. So I'm just looking at the left to find any good resistance level on the very same level the pair is right now on. And what I see here that the resistance is actually far. I have a resistance level here and another resistance right here. So entering with the sell order here might not be so good. I will have to wait for this candle to rise for almost 8 pips more and that is gonna take some time so let me just uh, uh, skip this set setup and just find something else so let's try to find something else hopefully quickly uh, let's see now on the four hour chart on the cat chf we can see that the pair is right now on a resistance level right here exactly right here we are on it right now this very same resistance was also a previous support and a resistance and a support so all in all this level is strong however let's see if i place my sell order here how far it's gonna be until i get 20 pips hmm not so much uh, let me th let me tell you something when you see such setup you assume that all right i can sell i can sell right here and I can expect for the pair to continue falling down to this nearest support. Hmm. Wrong. What happened here is that the pair, the pair has reached this uh, resistance right here and reversed already. It reversed. So the reversal that you are seeking has already happened. Not to mention that another candle approached the very same resistance level and also reversed so we already have two reversal happened one is represented in this candle and the other one is on this candle as well that means my friends that this setup is wasted already don't rush and decide to, to place your sell order right here read the candles one by one until you to understand that the pair must have reached this level here and then reverse again so uh I just need to pause this video for two minutes and I'll be back to you my friends okay let's resume and I just wanted to show you on the pound Canadian how the pair is actually going up and it's respecting this price action uh, this is one of the price actions we are going to talk about in the price action video which hopefully I will release uh, next week uh, this is one very trusted price action it's, it's indicating a, bull a bullish reversal and on the support level and if we check the history we can find it rarely has failed i mean I, do I don't really have time to show that now i will show it later in the price action video so to save my to save your time my friends let me just now pause again the, the, uh, <laughs> let me again pause the video and i'll be back to you once i find another setup look at the nzd usd Right now, on the 4-hour chart, I can see that I am on a very clear support level on the NZD USD. So, meaning I need to look now for a buy opportunities. Let's go to the 30-minute time frame. So, on the 30-minute time frame, we are having here a Dolce candle, which actually this is also another good indicator uh, telling me that I can start buying the pair here, not for a long time at all, only to get the reversal. Hmm even less than 10 pips no that's not worth it it's not worth it definitely not worth it let me skip this setup and I want to show you something on the USD CHF now we can see that the trade of the USD CHF is going against me right now we're still in, in loss of 4 pips however what I did right here is making another analyzing as I said many times when you see the candle going against you don't rush to close the trade with the loss continue analyzing to expect where you can find the next reversal to recover the losses from your trade now what I see here on the 4 hour chart after breaking out from this resistance if it does we are having right here a small resistance which is resistance number 1 don't underestimate that candle right, right there every week on this a four hour chart is representing a whole support or resistance on the smaller time frames so if you see the candle uh, having a wick here at the top of it mark it because that could be your resistance number one and right now 
if this candle is gonna hit the very same resistance level I will place another sell hopefully to recover any losses and make some good profit from the USD CHF so uh, I need to keep digging more to find the perfect setup that I'm looking for uh, I think that might take some time let's see no you see that is the one I told you before that don't rush to place the sell as you can see the candle is actually going up so if you place sell order here most likely would have been in loss by now uh, nothing here let me just be sure uh, that there was no s strong support level on the past on the same level uh, CHF GPY seems actually good for buy I'm just looking at the left to find any good support level on the same level here on the current price and so far I don't see anything therefore I am dropping this setup all right let me just now pause again so I will save your time and I'll be back to you once I find another good setup check out the euro and ZD now the euro and ZD is right now on a resistance level and it seems like this one seems like a fake breakout and what I we're having here is a resistance level I don't think this is a resistance number one however we can still enter the trade because we're just seeking a small reversal now the market is approaching the very top level of this week here and that is where I'm actually going to place my sell order yes a small reversal can give me good and decent profit so uh, I will mark my level right here on the top of this week here as I said before that is how we do it on the four hour time frame and switch to the smaller time frame such as 30 minutes and we can see clearly that we are having here the candle we can see it actually started to reverse if I'm not mistaken oh I missed nine pips while talking uh, let's wait and see what will gonna happen I'm hoping for another attempt from the candle to go up here to the very top level of this week here and then I'm going to place sell order once it hit it and I can get this bounce that is the bounce that actually I'm really looking for that's what I want to get that's in my opinion the highest uh, winning ratio in forex strategies ah uh, yeah we can see the market has already reversed yeah definitely has already, already reversed and this setup is wasted and let me just try to find something else on the pound GPP sorry euro, euro GPP the euro GPP is making some really interesting setup here uh, I already have marked this level before um, I want to place buy order here because we're having a previous resistance and a previous support now my problem is this price action because this price action indicating a strong bearish reversal must likely what will gonna happen if this candle is gonna close like that it means now the next candle is gonna go down all the way to this previous support before it start reversing so I will just have to ignore this setup right now for the moment for the meantime I mean and let's try to find something else let's go back to the four hour chart and try to find any good setup I cannot find yet okay uh, let me now pause this video and I'll be back to you my friends let's look at the USD CAD now the USD CAD it seems like it's gonna reverse because we are having right now this bullish breakout candle and on the past we are seeing that the very strong support level on the very same level of the current resistance and right now the candle is going down here and I, if I'm not mistaken we, the candle is gonna reverse it's gonna give approximately it's not really worth it in my opinion uh, in best scenarios we're looking for 13 pips mm, no not worth it sorry um, I apologize because I'm taking much of your time my friends uh, let's see the AUD USD AUD USD is on not bad level let me see how many pips we can look for okay good that's good um, eight nine pips two pips away from the tech from the entry and if I place my trade here uh, the candle is gonna keep going all the way until hitting the nearest resistance which is simply right here so we are looking for approximately 
10 pips of profit that should be fine for the AUD USD we can see that we are having very clear resist uh, a support number one and the market is approaching a support number two and we can see that on the 30 minute time frame we are having good price action this one here the one I just said that I really trust and I like that is that price action here this candle here is repre representing for me a bullish reversal indicator and therefore I'm going to place my buy order right now and as I said the nearest support or resistance to my entry is laying right here this is the previous support that is the nearest support to my entry which was also a resistance in the past and I'm gonna set my take profit level on this level right here uh, aiming 11 pips just as I said before having a 20 pips a day strategy doesn't mean you, f you should force the market to give you 20 pips 10 pips is fine I am fine with it as long as I'm using the rules of the uh, strategy I believe that should be it for this video so let me now pause this video and I'll be back to you to show you what will gonna happen with all these three trades just to show you an example of what I'm saying we can see that right now the candle of the USCCHF is still going against me and making me lose some money however as I said we just continue analyzing and I'm going to place another sell order right here now there was actually a good reason for that allow me to show you um, of course right now I'm on the 4 hour time frame now switching to the 30 minute time frame let me show you what did I see let me just uh, you know something let me just get rid of all these lines to not confuse you all right like that so I let me just show you this let this candle here on the 30 minute time frame go back to the 30 minute time frame and go in the past uh, let me just show you where is that candle it's right there right here check this out we are having here a very clear resistance number one and I placed my trade right here immediately because uh, on the 30 minute time frame the right way to draw my resistance line is exactly like that because this is the in this way this resistance line is actually touching all of the wicks on these candles therefore that is where we can expect for the market to start reversing and give us some recovery from the first trade so going back to the four hour candles we can see that right now the market is reversing and we, so far we are actually in profit except for the first trade of the USD CHF which is in four pips uh, loss right now we are making some profits we are recovering so what I'm going to do is I will set my tech profit to be just a little bit higher than the current uh, tech profit level because as I said if the candle is gonna reverse from this point of this resistance then it's gonna reverse at the nearest resistance which is actually right here and just to be safe and get out with a decent profit I'm going to actually close the candle or sorry close the trade uh, the f I'm gonna close the first trade once the candle is actually break even so by that I will just uh, make sure that of course we got, because we are not sure what will gonna happen maybe I will lose the second trade so once the candle actually reached the first entry I'm going to close it with the break even so in case I will have some profit it's gonna be a pure profit and if there will be a losses it's gonna be reduced so instead of opening two trades I will just keep one trade for the USDCHF what I'm aiming right now is break even or to close this uh, trade of the USDCHF in profit of course I'm not sure what will gonna happen we just need to wait uh, look at the pound and ZD as I told you this uh, price action is really strong indicator for a bullish reversal and we can see that the candle is reversing look, look at that we are having right here a resistance number one and the market is right now on it a resistance number two so actually I'm going to close this trade right now with 10 pips of profit that's fine that's fine don't risk because most likely maybe the candle is gonna start reversing here remember we are having here a resistance level look at that now it's starting to reverse we are having here a resistance and right here this is this wick here this long wick here is actually a resistance number one as tiny as it is it is actually representing a resistance and therefore I just wanted to be safe 
and exit this trade with the good profit look at the usd chf it started to reverse exactly from the point i have told you to place your sell order we are very near to the break even and i'm going to close the trade once the candle actually touched this level and exceed it a little bit just to cover the commission fees so far so good everything is going so far really good uh, aud usd is also still ranging on the same level still zero no profits yet that's really nice Le now let me now again pause this video and i'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with all these trades and as i told you now i will close the first trade of the usd cad so usd chf now i'm safe because i have closed the first trade which might be actually in loss and right now the second one is running in good profit so far we are running in seven pips profit which is not bad at all now the account again is above 500 to be honest with you i just want to exit this video and end it i will close this uh, this thread also of the AUD USD in profit covering hopefully most of the commission and this one i will just take the 26 dollars and by that i have made this account reach uh, above 500 dollars in this video so i will just resume trading later uh, i don't want to make these videos really long this is 26 minutes and to be honest i have other things to do i cannot keep recording for that time therefore i just had to close this video right now and 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 end with it so in the end i hope this uh, live trading video will inspire you to use the 20 pips a day strategy and again i want to advise you to use ic markets if you want to have these good entries as i did because they are having zero spread and by the way i want to thank you if you do that if you open account in ic markets using the account in the description sorry if you're using the link in the description because that's how you support this channel channel to continue and give the hard work here so in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching